Hi, I'm JT Angstrom with Freight Waves, here with Eric Rempel, the Chief Innovation Officer at Redwood Logistics. Eric, it's a pleasure to have you join us. Great to see you again, JT. How have you all been navigating this, uh, this sort of work from home, kind of post-COVID, or we're still in COVID, but, but yeah. multiple months into a type of environment? Yeah, post-shock, right? Um, you know, I, it, it's been good. You know, our workforce, we got home in like seven days. You know, we're really lucky we got a strong uh, IT backbone, and, and that part was easy. Um, now it's just, you know, keeping people motivated and, and happy while we deal with the new normal. But, you know, thankfully, people are good, people are healthy, and uh, we, we can't complain. Yeah, that's awesome. And so I know you and your team the full team, broadly speaking, have spent a lot of time innovating in technology, which I expect not only gives you uh, an advantage in this new type of work from home environment, but more broadly speaking in the marketplace. And so can you talk to us a little bit about how you've been able to le leverage that technology platform to provide solutions for your customers? Yeah, you know, it, it's been, um it's been almost something we were preparing for, less the pandemic part. Um, you know, we've been watching the world shift and we've been watching things change. And, and it's been, um, you know, again, outside of, you know, hopefully everyone's staying safe. It, it's, it's been good because it's proven our thesis, which is with the right combination of people uh, and technology, you can solve most problems. Um, and we focus on that tech as an industry changing medium. Um, you know, a lot of that has been us continuing to expand our investments in people and in tech innovations and, and really what we do with data. And so from a customer point of view, what we've been doing is finding the right blend of, of logistics based solution and technology and platform solutions. And it's always a combination of both, whether it's innovation through Redwood Connect, our drag and drop platform, uh, whether it's how we manage with our open ecosystem and giving customers really transparent solutions or how we manage freight through our digital digital brokerage and, you know, leveraging AI to, to streamline and automate. But all of that together has been stuff that we worked on before the pandemic, and it's led us to um, a, a pretty good position of, of capabilities right now where we can, you know, deliver those very quickly to our customer base. Yeah, that's wonderful. And now I want to expand on uh, Redwood Connect, which you briefly mentioned within there. And you, you, you mentioned it as your, your drag and drop integration platform. And I know you, you all do a lot of really unique and innovative things. And, there's a handful of things within there that you do that's that only you do. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about how that that platform or workbench approach, which you've described to me in the past, operates, and, and the type of solutions you're able to provide on that, which really differentiate you in the marketplace? Sure. Yeah. You know, I think it also might help a bit to. Um, give a little history, you know, super brief history, but it all started a decade ago when we made a decision to offer really open and flexible supply chain solutions to our customers. And, you know, our managed trans solution is one of the most flexible in the business. And so is our cloud-based integration platform. So what we're doing in, in a large part of our strategy is to leverage Connect to let our customers connect to any TMS, any WMS, and connect their enterprise systems, their ERP, their operational management systems, their order management systems quickly with little to no risk and implementation timelines. So what that really does is that we can connect shippers to their network of carriers via EDI, API, partners, and well-known visibility aggregation services. And ultimately, it lets us innovate really, really quickly for our customers so they can continue to leverage legacy investments and get a lot of value out of them while supercharging some of the best new logistics apps in the business. And we let them orchestrate all of that in one single place. So it's a way to see the business logic that lives in between all of your systems. And to your question, when you're trying to deal with all of the changes and how supply chains are morphing and you know what's going on right now, being able to literally drag and drop from one system to another, integrate a new trading partner uh, without having to go back to IT has been just a huge, huge game changer. Yeah, and that's a phenomenal platform that you guys have there. And now, given the roughly 3.5 billion in freight under management or fund that you all have, um, that's a really significant asset to have to not only be able to manage that, but also continue to grow that. And can you talk to us a little bit about how that helps you address that, that managed trans market? Yeah, you know, I mentioned it earlier, but I want to emphasize that, you know, open means open. Um, any TMS and, in fact, any partner, right? We have a lot of uh, shipper customers who give a lot of business to our competitors, but we really mean open, which has been a really frictionless way that organizations can hop on board into our ecosystem. And so when we say any TMS and any WMS and any protocol, 
That also means any business logic, and we've been doing this long enough to know that no shipper does any of these things the same way. Um, so it means we get to apply the right technology to the right partners, and what the platform does is it says, okay, what are the best practices, what are the playbooks, but how do we also deliver a unique experience to how we weave uh, their systems together and how we orchestrate their supply chain in a way that works for them in a cost-effective manner. And so working with all those partners also makes the ecosystem grow faster, so it's this flywheel that starts growing, and at the end of the day, it gives our customers what they're looking for, which is that flexibility of choice. And so when they get that quick go-to market you know, uh, opportunity and, and a single place to manage it, it's that holistic solution that they've been looking for. And so there, there's a lot of hype in investment in digital freight mashing in the transportation space. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you think about that, both on your platform and then more broadly speaking, impacting the industry landscape? Yeah, yeah, there is, there is a lot of hype, right? And so, you know, we've been we've been doing this for nearly 20 years, right? And digital freight brokerage is is somewhat of a newer term. We used to call it automation, you know, over a decade ago. But we are making uh, huge investments in this, like the rest of the industry, because you know the the key is how do we aggressively work to digitize and, and automate a ton of our freight. Um, so, you know, we're leveraging Redwood Connect as the linchpin of how we weave together all of the solutions we're bringing into our own brokerage because we use it ourselves. Um, but we're also bringing in cloud tools that, you know, we mentioned earlier to deliver solutions, not just to those internal customers, I'm sorry, to those external customers, but also internally. So what that means is we can weave together the right blend of solutions that are not only the ones that we build at Redwood ourselves and with our data science team, but when there's data providers out there in the market and, you know, there's a lot lot of neat organizations building new tools that you know are all around this premise of digital freight brokerage, we can embed them into our individual workflows depending on the department or the group or where we see that that solution has the best fit. And it's really exciting because just like shippers don't have a single solution fit all, neither do 3PLs. And so that mix and match of digital technologies is what we're focusing on now. Um, and and it's, it's pretty fun to watch that evolve. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. And so now, Given all of this innovation, technology, and investment in your platform, both through Redwood Connect and through the automation, or what the industry is now calling digital freight matching, can you talk to us a little bit about how you think about what's next for Redwood? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's it's always us striving to to find that value, right? Uh, that intersection of, of logistics and tech, like you mentioned. Um, and Connect has been wildly successful for us. Um, and so as we continue to roll out that platform to our customers um, around new and innovative use cases, um, you know, as I mentioned, we're using it ourselves in really new and innovative ways to do things that were really complex before, and we're just knocking them out in record time. And so as we've grown, you know, as an organization, both organically and acquisitively over the last several years, um, we need a way to integrate acquisitions and continue to digitally transform our own enterprise. And Connect is letting us do that faster than ever. Um, so it being at the core of our ability to do that, we know that we can deliver mature on-demand solutions for supply chain with the least amount of friction. And and at the end of the day, all of that means that our cloud platform, you know, Redwood Connect lets us onboard acquisitions faster, develop new features and functionalities for our customers faster, offer the latest cloud solutions with a drag and a drop, and run our business with better data and visibility than ever before. And it, overall, it just makes it a really exciting time at Redwood. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's really remarkable. And, and you guys are doing some really phenomenal things with technology and innovation over there. And, It'll be very fascinating to see how that evolves and grows over time. And it certainly has been over the past five, even 10 years. And so really congratulations to you and your team for staying ahead of the space. Thanks, JT. And so with that, uh, our time is close to up. Uh, Eric Rimpal, Chief Innovation Officer at Redwood Logistics. Eric, thank you for joining us. This has been a phenomenally interesting discussion and I'm looking forward to having another one soon, hopefully in face-to-face -face at some point. I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to play out with with the pandemic, but certainly when we can, uh, sooner than later. I'm looking forward to that, JT, thanks. Same here, JT Angstrom with Freight Waves, thank you all for your time.